Hello friends, I'm Sachin Garg. Today we will discuss on uh, Cucumber framework for my mobile Android applications. As we all know that Cucumber is a testing framework which support behavior driven development approach. And there are many uh, frameworks are available in market which support behavior driven development approach such as JBehavior. But the main difference between JBehavior and Cucumber is Cucumber is implemented in Ruby language and JBehavior is in Java. And Cucumber support multiple languages such as Java, Python, Perl, PHP, and it used the Gherkin, Gherkin language. Gherkin is basically a plain English text language. It made automation more readable and understandable to everyone. So this is a basic overview of the Cucumber framework. So my next slide is based on how to install Cucumber Cucumber plugin in Eclipse IDEs. So to install Cucumber plugin, you have to open the Eclipse your Eclipse first, and uh, navigate to Help menu and select it Sub menu Install new software, and click on the Add button and insert the name such as Cucumber plugin and paste the location. It's a URL that I have already mentioned in my uh, PPT file. And click on the OK button and after click the OK button you will see uh, be below the Cucumber uh, plugin select on it and click on the next button and uh, yeah, the your Cucumber plugin will install in your Eclipse IDE. These are the basic steps to install Cucumber plugin in your Eclipse IDE. <coughs> My next slide is based on the annotations. These all are the basic annotation in the Cucumbers. Annotation means predefined step that we have specific meaning. Given, given an annotation describes the prerequisite prerequisite of your test script, such as open the login screen. When it describes the action that uh, need to be taken in your test case, then it's basically compare the uh, expected output with your previous executed steps. And this annotation we uh, are using uh, to extend our statement, but but it is also work same. But we are using uh, for some negative scenarios. Feature describe the test cases and scenario describe the test cases steps in the feature file, and scenario outline. It is the work as the work same as the test scenario, but it is mostly used for parameterization. If you want to execute the same test cases with the different uh, data, so we have to use scenario outline. Background, it is basically we used for uh, prerequisite step that need before every test scenario run. These are the basic annotation for the Cucumber, and uh, we required some dependency for Cucumber framework, memory dependencies. Selenium, Java, Cucumber, Java, Cucumber, JUnit, JUnit, Cucumber, JVM dependency, and Selenium server. These are the basic dependency uh, we need to work with Maven project for Cucumber framework. So let's start the demo. First, you have to create a Maven project. Project and select Maven project. Next and insert the group id and artifact id and click on the finish button and your maven project will see in your explorer screen i have already created so first i will uh, set the dependencies so first you have to mention the dependencies such as junit selenium java Cucumber Java, Cucumber JVM dependencies, Cucumber JUnit, Selenium server. These are the basic dependencies for this demo. I have used, I am using more dependencies because it's my project requirement, but you uh, no need to uh, mention all the dependency. After paste the dependencies, you have to download it. Right click on your project and navigate to Maven menu and select update projects so that corresponding dependency will download it for your project and after download the dependencies you have to create a resource folder 
to create the risk because uh, you you will see only these two folder to create this resource folder right click on your project and uh, select the resource folder and uh, provide the name of the folder src slash test slash re resources and click on the finish button then that resource folder will see in your project and create a subfolder functional name and in that folder uh, you have to create a feature file right click on it and create a simple file and name any name dot feature feature file extension is a feature feature click on the finish button and that feature file will see I uh, basically already created the login dot feature in that file you uh, you have to write the test cases such as I have already uh, written for you uh, feature basically describe the type uh, what test case I I am going to execute and scenario validate the existing user access the application with valid credential and open the application more on mobile device and enter the mobile number in sign up sign up screen and click on the sign up screen and user should navigate to sign in screen so after create the test case you have to create a package folder name as step definitions and create a java class inside in that class uh, we will implement each te test steps that we mentioned in our feature file such as given it is a prerequisite and open the application on mobile device and these are the basic setting we have to uh, return to invoke the application from our mobile devices and uh, the next one is enter the mobile number in sign up page and you can see the mobile number i have mentioned in double course because mobile number is worry from the user to user you can also use your mobile number else for to test the application so to make uh, text changeable we have to use this kind of uh, yes sorry yes to uh, make the text changeable you have to use some uh, basically a text like that and this basically a uh, text make your this text is attribute and this attribute uh, i will paste in the send folder same as the for the next step and next one is the navigate to sign in screen to verify the user is able to use the navigate to sign in screen or not I catch the text of next screen and verify the text is visible or not so to execute the test case you have to create another one folder the test runner and uh, test runner file it is a uh, base is a java class and this class is basically an empty class in that class uh, uh, we will use the run with it is a, a j unit annotations in that annotations i give the cucumber class reference and uh, another annotations uh, we are using cucumber option in that options we mention all kinds of a file path such as feature files i am using from here and uh, step definitions file i am using from step definition folders and we want to execute the login tags that tag i have mentioned about the feature file you can see here so i'm going to execute the test cases so to execute your test cases for the mobile application so you have to run the APM first
you have to execute the APM first. And after that, right click on it, run with JUnit test. So you can see my test case is running. It's taking few seconds. Just wait. Yes, application open and uh, insert the mobile number and yes, yes, my test case has been executed and one scenario is pass in which have four steps. You can see below in the console window. So after execution right click on the project and click on the refresh button and you can see the target folder in the destination you can see the X HTML report has been generated open with web yes you can see so if your test case is not running so please check your JDK is configured in your system or not properly. So thank you very much to see my video.